The story starts out with Nellie Dean explaining to Mr. Lockwood about Mr. Heathcliff and Catherine after Mr. Lockwood had a dream about Catherine Earnshaw's ghost. Her account of the Earnshaws, Lintons, and Heathcliff started years before. Old Mr. Earnshaw was li living in Wuthering Heights with his wife and two kids, Henley and Catherine. Once on an out outing to Liverpool, Mr. Earnshaw found a starving and destitute boy, and he brought him back to with him to Wuthering Heights. His name was Heathcliff. He raised Heathcliff like um his own. In the beginning, the kids didn't like Heathcliff except Catherine, who would always come and be really nice to him, while Hindley, on the other hand, would be really mean to Heathcliff. Mr. Earnshaw always favored Heathcliff as well, and viewed him as his own child more than he viewed Hindley, and he sent Hindley off to school instead to keep Heathcliff closer to him. After years, uh, after years pass by, Mr. Earnshaw dies, and Hindley acquires Wuthering Heights. He comes back with his wife, Frances, and quickly gets revenge on Heathcliff. Heathcliff still proceeds with his relationship with Catherine, but one night they wandered through Thresh Cross Grange, planning to tease Edgar and Isabel Linton. Catherine was bitten by a dog and was compelled to stay at the Grange to recover for five weeks until she could walk once more. Thereafter, the Lintons came frequently to visit Wuthering Heights. At the point when Frances died, after having a fourth child named Harton, Hindley became an alcoholic. Heathcliff fled from Wuthering Heights and he was staying away for a long time and returned soon after Catherine and Edgar's marriage. At that point when Heathcliff returned, he quickly begins looking for retribution on all who have done wrong to him. At the point when Hindley died, Heathcliff acquired the house. He likewise, likewise set himself up to acquire Thresh Cross Grang as well. He did this by marrying Isabel Linton whom he treated really badly. Then Catherine turned out to be sick while having a girl and died. Heathcliff was very much saddened by this. However, at this time, Isabella discovered living with Heathcliff, she, it was unbearable, and she left him for a while, going to London. A couple months later, Heathcliff uh, uh, hears about Isabella's condition and how she has died while having her baby named Linton. At that point, 12 years has passed since uh, she left Heathcliff and her sibling took her sick baby to live in Thrush Cross Grang. She and Linton, her cousin, start a mystery romance through letters. However, Linton didn't want it. Just Heathcliff wished the, t wished the two kids to be married. At that time, Edgar Linton turned out to be greatly sick. Heathcliff influenced uh, Kathy to visit him, his little cousin, who was additionally in greatly awful condition, in spite of the fact that she could come back to Threshold Grang for her dad's demise. Frail wiped out Linton Heathcliff died. Mr. Lockwood retreated to London in the spring without seeing Wuthering Heights or its kins once more. Created using Powtoon.